on everybody it is Greg we are back in the garage for another video another vlog at least I think so I recorded some stuff earlier in the week or like oh two weeks ago then I had some backlog stuff that I put the episode out so if you rec if you recognize in the episode the last episode that I put out the windows were in the bus and then the one before that they were out because I kind of recorded a lot of stuff and then I just edited it a little bit out of sequence by mistake, but no big deal. We are where we are. Um, I filled some stuff about building a cabinet for my parts washer. So we're in the middle of doing that. I just need to put the front on and then paint it or uh, stain it. I'm not exactly sure what yet. Uh, working on another little small project for the wife. This is a small little ottoman that once I reupholster the top here, uh, she wants like that fluffy shag look thing. This would be like a chair so she could sit down on in the uh, in our closet. Uh, I got rid of those crazy um, the plastic shelving. I kept one because I have my wood on it, but I have that gone. So now I have space. There is a dead cricket. So I have some lights eventually I think I'm going to hang up. Maybe if I can get LED bulbs for those. If I can't, I'm just going to get the ones from Amazon and run those along some of the walls and then the ceiling. I'm pretty sure I'm going to run them on the ceiling because I have two spaces open for like outlets. And I don't have much in the garage as far as outlets and I do need to run more. So that's going to be a thing coming up here in the near future because I have one here, one there, and then one there. I need more. I definitely want one here for a light here. Uh, it'd be nice to have one here for the parts washer. And then I probably want to have, you know, each outlet has two uh, receptacles. I want, or each receptacle has two outlets. I want, I do like a four. So I'll have four more plugins on each wall. Four, two there, two here. Maybe this one can stay and then four on that side. I think would be good um and i know i keep saying it and i haven't done it yet but i still need to do the over the garage storage there so i can put the bus parts up top once i can get like the big furniture things up top i'll have a lot more space to do whatever and i do eventually want to be able to park christine back in here because it's raining now otherwise i take you outside and show you uh the passenger side front fender flare I think it's from the heat the glue is failing or I think the paint failed and it's pulling off the paint right where the glue attached so that fender is definitely going to need to get painted and what I'm thinking what I'm thinking I may or may not have enough paint left but either way I think I'll just go and grab like another quart and mix it is I've been considering taking off the fender flares and sanding the bumper smooth and doing smooth tops so that's a thought that's going on in my head. Um, that's not thing coming down right, right away, but it's it's been bowling, uh, it's been rolling around in my head for about a year now. Um, so yeah, there's that. So we've been working on the bus a little bit more. Finally, starting to see a little bit of surface rust, but that can sand out easy. As you can see, I sanded it out here. Was on this door too. So I've been grinding. All the paint is pretty much off except for the very bottom edge right there and this it, the recess here here we got pretty much clean this is all pretty much ready to go uh, I need to hit on the top of the door I'm gonna hit the rest of that today um, today for sure I want the rest of this side pretty much bare like this um, that way I can really see what's going on so what I need to do is remove the door handles Again, I am not sure how, but I will just undo all the screws and we'll go from there. Because you know what? That's the way I work. So I'm going to get off both handles and then hopefully I'll be able to get everything off and then start cleaning out inside here. And then work my way up and back, clean out the, the rain gutter here, clean all that out. And then the door will be ready 
to go. I don't think I need to replace any metal. I'm going to see if I can get a body guy when the time is right to see if they can, you know, pull some of these dents out and fix as much of it as possible. The less I have to, the less panels I have to buy and replace, it's going to be better for me. As, as I'm starting to realize in some of the forums, old metal is better than new metal as far as what they say. So, but definitely, this section is gone. There's no saving this. I'm not even going to bother. I'm not even going to try. So, front door, A pillar, I mean B pillar, the rest of the window around here, this area here, and the rear quarter also. I'm going to probably stop here because that bottom section will be replaced. So, the, pl the parts that I know for sure that need to be replaced, I'm not even going to bother wasting my time grinding completely so I'm probably like right at the tail light stop right here I think that's the whole piece or I think they sell like the whole piece I'm not I'll look into that before I start that because if it's the whole piece that they sell and I might as well just cut and weld there and not have to worry about doing any of that so yeah let's get started and I gotta put this battery to charge too because it only has 40 something percent Let's go. Look at that. Besides this hole and that little bit of damage there, this door is pretty good. Oh, there's a little spot there too. Yeah. We've been busy a little bit. All this wiring still has to come out. And then I'll dive into that probably in another day. The problem with working on the bus is a lot of the stuff that I want to do to it is loud and Nellie's office is right above us. So anything I do down here, she hears, and she's dealing with clients and stuff all day. So during the week, I don't really have the opportunity to work on it. So I have to pick and choose. Like right now, instead of being inside Memorial Day relaxing, I'm gonna be in the garage grinding away to get as much as possible done. That way during the week, maybe I can do something else that's not as loud. Parts. 
so nothing gets misplaced. Making good headway. Just taking out the seal now. It just seems to be just glued in and shoved in the rail here. Did most of it out. Just pulling the rest of it out here. Just don't want it to break. Let's grab your flat. Get back in there. Come on. There you go. You know, it's always the last little bit. That's a hole. Hold on. Okay, so anybody out there in the comments below, if you know anything that dissolves, it just looks like basic silicone. I don't really don't want to have to scrape all this out by hand. That seems very, very tedious. Maybe I'll go in here with the wire brush. But if there's anything that can just spray on there and let it dissolve real quick and then let it come off easier, uh, let me know. Like goo gone maybe or goof off? I'm not sure, but I really don't want to have to do it because it's all around the whole perimeter. I don't want to have to do that. Alright, so we got the B-pillar pretty much done. I'm going to go back and clean it up with the uh, DA. Uh... The door is pretty much done. Just have to do a little bit of light sanding in here by hand because the, the uh, flapper wheel can't get in here. And then I'll hit the edges with the wire wheel that the wheel missed. And then we'll work our way backwards. Take care of this section. The top part here, down here, all this we'll take care of. And then on to the door. And we'll get the door done. The dog leg I'm leaving because it is getting replaced. Uh, this bottom section of the door, hopefully I can find and get that replaced as well. And then that's it. Do the top parts of the door. And then I think we can call it after that. Um, ba -ba -ba. Memorial Day, I think most of the stores that I would go to are done. Oh, batteries, I ain't got to charge it. Turn the fan off so we can hear. Did a lot of grinding and cleaning, as you can see, around the window sills of the big door is cleaned out. Well, our clean is cleaned out. Whatever. The rear window just got a little bit up here. I need to do. I need to get more stripper and spray and get rid of the paint. Top section needs to get done as well. This back section is done. This section, I'm pretty sure, is going to be replaced at this mark here, so I'm not worried about that. This section down here will be replaced, but this whole top section is done. I need to spray in here to get that cleaned out. See a little bit of the imperfections in the metal, which I'm pretty sure can just get like just spot welded on top and then ground back because the wood is still pretty solid. Uh. This the sliding door has been fully stripped. Rolls pretty good. So that's done all the way down to the bottom. This is just surface stuff. So that's pretty much good to go. The B pillar is just about done. I have to get in here and strip this out. Probably spray some clean strip in there and see if that gets all that stuff out. I want to get all that out as well. The driver door. gonna leave for another day I'm a little bit tired of just sitting here grinding I don't want my ears to be completely trashed uh, this won't take long I gotta take the door handle off but the rest of this will be done and then probably sometime this week schedule permitting I'm gonna see about trying to I want to start cutting out the front but I don't want to if that makes sense I think what I'll do is I'll just strip the other side. I'll get to the other side and completely strip there because, oh, I still have to do the rear, the trunk here, engine compartment, hatch, same thing here. With this light probably about there will get cut and replaced. 
I'm fearing a lot of Bondo here as well because it's cracking here and here. This side is a little bit better up top, but not much. So all this is going to have to get stripped as well. So in the next coming weeks, um, you guys let me know if you guys actually want to see that in the comments because I think it's going to be kind of boring just me sitting here stripping doing the same thing over and over for like two or three videos. I'm trying to like add some things in between like when I go do the wiring obviously I'll film that and post that. Um, if I find a way to get the pop top off and store it someplace that's going to be kind of out of the way I'll do that as well. Pop the top because I do want, obviously, the roof needs to get painted. So I want to pop the top and get the luggage compartment off and sand that down. If it's not bad, it'll just get sanded down. I won't strip the paint completely off that. That wouldn't even make any sense because I'm pretty sure underneath here is pretty good metal. But, um, yeah, once we strip everything as far as the body goes, we're going to... I'm going to try my best to get this thing up in the air as high as possible. We can only probably get it about another... Two feet, 16 inches, 18 inches before it hits the garage door, unless I move it over in the middle here, which I'm going to need help to do. If I can do that, that'll be better. That way I can lift it up higher, get underneath and start, you know, taking the suspension parts off, brake parts off, cleaning them, painting them and putting them back on, refurbing what needs to get refurbed. So that is the plan for the undercarriage and the drivetrain parts. Uh, once that happens, the motor can come out. We can run through that. Like I said, take things off, clean them, put them back. Whatever needs to be replaced needs to be replaced, adjusted. Um, exhaust probably powder coated or just painted. Stuff like that. Clean up the wheels. And then start ordering parts, hopefully. Because I want to start getting um, bits and pieces. Not the, not the nose. The nose is very expensive, so we're going to have to wait on that for a little while. But, like, these back pieces here are, like, 50 bucks here and there, $40. Small parts here and there. We don't need that much. And then once we start ordering the seals, we'll be good to go on that. Um, yeah. Hopefully the rear hatch can be salvaged. Um, there's a lot of holes in it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I haven't seen any place selling the rear hatch the rear with the glass in it. Or without the glass, rather. I haven't seen any place sell that just yet. But we're making good progress. Thank you for sticking with the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you would like to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Throw me a like on these videos. I will be posting as much as I possibly can on the bus. And soon, I think next week, I'm going to start working on Christine. I can tell you about the paint issue. Uh, I think I'm really going to start pulling a bumper off, working on a bumper, taking it back off. I still need to do the wheel bearing, that way I can drive. We have something planned for you VR guys here coming up shortly. So I get the, once I get the wheel bearing done, uh, we can get that video filmed. So I need to jump on that and get that done before John sells his car video. So with that said, everybody have an awesome, awesome the rest of your Memorial Day weekend. Um... Hey man, it's a day to uh, remember those that gave all so that, you know, we could have what we have. So, don't forget, it's not just a day for you to hit the pool, hit the beach, and uh, eat a hot dog and drink a beer. So, um, with that, I'm out, and I will see you guys next time in the garage. Peace.